I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The focus of this exercise is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. There are a couple strategies that you could use for identifying the strength in your dealt hand. Either build around multiples or pick a predominant pattern and build around the predominant pattern. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We'll use these dice to randomize which seat we're in. I rolled a seven. That means we're going to be player three. I will get 13 tiles. We have wins with a pair of souths, a white dragon, five nine, singles. Then we have bams with a pair of sevens and a five six seven in cracks. Two multiples, south and seven. Lots of odds. Or maybe consecutive run. If this was your dealt hand, what would you play and what would be your first pass? If this were my dealt hand, I think I would play north and south with sevens, even though there's a gap with no flowers. North and south with sevens would be the fourth hand down under winds and dragons, but I would have a backup plan because of the gap. So if we played north and south with sevens, that would be what we're left with for the Charleston. So for a plan B, I think I would probably keep consecutive tiles, five, six, seven, discard those first. Depending on what comes in, we might even be able to play like numbers with dragons. So I think I would probably play consecutive run, like numbers with sevens, north and south with sevens. I suppose if we get a nine bam, we could even play big odds, five, seven, seven, nine. So I would hold all these and focus probably here on the sevens, see what comes in and whittle away until we run out of discards, then pick a hand. I rolled an eight, so we're going to be player four. We have a joker, a flower, wins with a pair, two, six, eight in dots, three, four in bams, and five, eight with cracks. If this were your hand, what would you play and what would you pass? I would probably focus on wins, maybe a year hand, pass those. There are a lot of two, four, six, eight, one, two, three, four, five, but here we have six. News with the year, whether or not we use the flower, I don't know, but there are two hands in the wind and dragon category that we could play. Either the year hand, second one down, or the concealed one. So I think that's what I would do. Really focused here on the north. The multiple. So I would pass one of each suit. Each one of those would be a reasonable pass. I rolled a four. 
So we're going to be north, 13 tiles. Flowers, south white, three dots, four bams, two cracks, singles, except for the flower. If these were your tiles, what would you play and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would probably play a year hand. Since there are flowers, I don't know if I would keep the south. There are no year hands that use flowers with winds for 2019, so I think I would pass it. Maybe pass those three. Focus on the year. I would not pick a hand, probably. But if we were to get, let's say, a one crack, we could probably play that very first hand. But I really would not pick a hand. I would gather, depending on how things go, we might even be able to play the pair hand under singles and pairs. We have each suit represented. And we have a pair of flowers. You know what I was thinking? Maybe keep the eight. If we get an eight dot, we could maybe try for the eight, nine, eight, nine pair hand. Eight, nine in bams, eight, nine in dots with the matching dragon. Of course, we need a green dragon, but maybe get rid of this one instead and just hold that for one pass to see. But I think a year hand is good here. Build your confidence by doing random pulls and practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you don't have your own set yet, look for a link in the video description below for one I highly recommend through Gammon Village. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.